Live from Tijuana, Mexico, here we are. I'm here with... Allison Caldwell Andrews. And... And Ron Caldwell Andrews. Now, where'd you folks come from? We came from Virginia. Virginia? Yeah. This is in California. <laughs> okay, okay. But now, did you have trouble flying across the country? I, yeah. I know no mass mandates now. Thank, right. thank, thank God. Goodness. Okay, now, what did you come out for? So I came out for, um, I had some teeth extractions, and I had some, I had a, uh, a um, um, some, yeah, he had broken teeth. Had broken His teeth. His mouth was a mess. I, I ignored the problems for 15 okay, okay. years. Okay, when, when when just 15 years. Yeah, 15 years. That's how I found this place 20 years ago. Right. I took literally took a tooth out of my mouth with an eight penny nail when I was in college. That's right. Yeah. And I were you scared of the dentist too? No, no. I mean, I've had I can tell you horror stories from the past, but you know, I was pretty relaxed. You know, I heard good things from Allison. She's been here two or three times and I heard great things. And so wow. I was prepared for a, a really easy going experience. Good God. Are you like a skydiver or uh, something? No, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I was panicked yeah. to death. Okay, for any dental work until I got here. And then I was still panicked the first couple of days, but after that, it was like a piece of cake. That's like, I have kids, so. <laughs> yeah. You've been you've been through the war. I had. Okay, so you came down for dental work, and I know you just, we just went through the exam, everything else. Right. Okay, did you see her live blood cell analysis? Or? Uh, I heard about it. No, 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 there's a video. It is totally cool. Right. We got, we, we got, after, when we're all done filming, we, I'll give you one. It'll be your present okay. because it is so cool. It's like an ecosystem. Now, right. now you you were going to Harvard or you're, you're a professor. I'm a professor. I had a postdoc at Yale at the School of Medicine. Yeah. Okay. Now that you a postdoctor at the at Yale School of Medicine, you're not getting more mainstream. Right. Okay. Right. You're, <laughs> Do you feel like you're in the French underground right now? Because this is about as far from the mainstream well, as you can get. It's been about 20 years, 15 yeah. years, 15 years since I've been there. And I was starting to wake up while I was there. No. Oh, my gosh. How cool. It was. It was weird. I did feel like I was it, like worse than the French underground. Like I was um, wrong. You know, the, the social pressure to swallow everything they say is huge. Oh, I, right? remember just a year ago? Snitches don't get stitches, they get rewards. <laughs> I mean, they're, right. they're telling you it's like Germany 1935, turn in your neighbors. Okay. Right. I, right. That's crazy. But my, my thing is, and I've always been very tied to data and what empiricism says. And that's where I started to fall off the wagon or climb out of the box because what I saw was, the data don't support what mainstream medicine is doing. It just wow. doesn't support it. Okay, okay. Now, I mean, m very few doctors, the ones that are in indoctrinated, I guess that's the thing that was <laughs> right. saying, okay. okay. But but they, they're they so, like, mind warped. Mm -hmm. How did you break out of that? Did you have, like, like good, good examples or good, bad examples? I mean... Well, I found what I was doing wasn't working, and so I looked elsewhere, right? And... That worked. So okay. I just, okay. Yeah. Again, empirical it, data. It's, the, the biggest thing is having people take charge of their own health, because most people and and this is this is what you're taught from little kids. You're you're taught to abdicate your authority over your health. That you go to the new religion, okay, which is the new, you know, the the science. You know, mm -hmm. science is a discussion. Mm -hmm. Like I had somebody ask me today, you know, you know, what's the best technique? And I said, well, I don't know. I keep changing this every time I learn something right. better. And that's what you're supposed right. to do. It's not a religion, okay? You gotta keep adapting. Now, now you just had your first adjustment down here. Mm -hmm. Actually, you had your- First three. First three adjustments. Right. Okay, what, what was that like? Because I know it's a bit different. It was a bit different from adjustments I've had before. It seems really effective though. Oh, totally is. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then even like, like some of the other stuff we're gonna get you involved too. Happy, happy girl, happy guy. Okay. Okay. But the sleep pattern change is so amazing. And that's, yeah. that's at the nutrition that's, report. My sleep has been a wreck. And I just, I've been, you know, I, I stay up. Sometimes I'm, it's like, he'll tell you, I'll sit in bed crying because I am so tired and I cannot sleep. It, it's, so that, it's that fight so or flight scene. looking forward. Yeah, it is like. Okay, good. So I like, this is called return on investment. I just, one person, two people get the benefit. Right. I know. I'm with you. I'm with you, man. 
happy wife, happy life. That's it. it, it now, we were talking about restless leg earlier. Mm -hmm. Restless leg is one of the easiest things to correct because the body's responding correctly based on the stimulus. So if that brain doesn't get constant information coming up, mm -hmm. it sends a motor impulse down to get more sensory input. I mean, just basic common sense. And correcting the disc that we identified, you know, you'll probably notice the difference tonight, but usually with, by tomorrow night for sure. That'd be amazing. I know, isn't it cool? Amazing. It, it's not me. Okay, the, the body is designed to be healthy. That, that way, any, any doctor in their arrogance, they say, I know it's wrong, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to give you... No, your body is generally adapting correctly based on the input. What we do is find out the interference to that nerve impulse, the interference to the control, clear that connection, then the body can function normally. I know. Don't you want to just say, duh? <laughs> well, it, it goes against the narrative. It, it to does. say this body fixes itself is really anti-narrative. It's it dangerous. <laughs> three years ago, we could talk like this and not worry about censorship. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there there's some words that we could say that this would be censored. Oh, absolutely. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. I, you know, but we're going to change this world. We're going to change that. That's right. Yeah, with 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 people like this in the French underground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we know it's right in our hearts. Okay, now what what would you folks tell somebody? And I'm talking the average person over sixty. It's taken 12 different prescriptions in America. Okay, they're watching the TV that tells them, yeah, you know, you could run through this field of flowers if you take this. What did you say one of the side effects was? Death. 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 Okay, we were talking earlier, <laughs> and I'm thinking, that's a hell of a side effect. It I, really is. I, I, I know a couple of people have recovered from it, but that's a big deal. <laughs> Uh, so what what could you 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 tell them because it's really taking charge of their health how can how can you break them out of it so i would say that you know what you want to do is realize that you can't change overnight you just can't you think about and and figure out what things need to be changed what what you can do to feel better and sleep water eating better you can't eat perfect tomorrow little by little and then go forth from there that's what i think that's brilliant. All processes take time. That's one of the chiropractic has 33 principles. You're not going to put a seed in the ground and say, grow. Right. Okay. It takes time. Okay. And, and you know, what, what I tell people, and this is with anyone taking medications, if we're left on a deserted island, we have no access to pharmaceuticals, but all you have is fresh fruit, fresh water, fresh fish. Does your health improve or decline? It improves. A hundred percent. I'm talking the most I've ever seen is 33 prescriptions. And a hundred percent of the people say it would improve. So what could you tell someone? I have to echo what Ron said. But I think also, um, because I am a clinical psychologist, being able to think positively and say things to yourself like, I'm healthy, I'm strong, I'm energetic, and I can make a difference. I can make this happen. That and then there are just a few little things that you can do to help give you more hope, more energy. And like he said, a lot of it's with what your what your diet is, exercise, sleep, water. That's better. I mean, my wife would say ditto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and no, you're feeling comfortable down here in Tijuana. No, totally. And you know, I have to tell you. The food here is delicious. Thank God I got so validation. Good. I keep telling people. It's so good. I've got a clinic in Huntington Beach that's supposed to be a beach community and really mm -hmm. fancy. This is better. Yeah. 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 My Sarah plans for two or three days before we come down. Well, we're going to go here, honey. We're going to go, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was food. whimpering about the food at the <laughs> place we went to a couple of nights ago, like making noises because I thought it was going to fall apart. It was so good. Okay. Take, take charge of your health. Please take charge of your health. We're in a dysfunctional system where they give a chemical to alter a symptom. I mean, think of it. Think of 50, 60 years from now. They'll look back on this time as this is insane. We're barbaric. We're barbaric. I mean, I'm going to give you a, a, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, an Advil. You can buy it across the counter. It'll destroy your joint cartilage. It'll damage your kidneys. It'll thicken up your blood. It Actually, it will increase heart attacks. But it has a side effect of possible reducing joint pain. 
<laughs> we're in dark ages. I, it is. Oh my God. Okay. Get out of the dark ages, take charge of your health, and come into the light. I like that, dark ages. <laughs> <laughs> you guys rock. <laughs>